in our old Kenjin Kai up in um, Northern California, there was a, a man, he died, I think he was just past 100 years old. And uh, he was from Yayama, Ishigaki. And uh, when he was in his 90s, I went to go visit him. And he used to sing, uh, if you know Okinawa, uh, Ishigaki, Yayama music, Tubarama. This is really, they don't use the sanshin, he just sings a cappella. And uh, he, he sang for me, and then he, um, he sang one, one verse I remember. He said, uh, I cannot sing the, the song, but Umiti Kayuraba, kai, umuti Shindi Ichiri, Awamuraba, Mutono Shindi. So, um, roughly translated, um, Omuti, if I think about you, or if I feel about you deeply, um, a thousand miles, if I'm going to go see you, a thousand miles is like only one mile. But if I go and I don't meet you, it's a thousand miles again. And then, and then um, so he looked at, you know, he, he told me, he said, ah, you young people, you don't understand. And he said, you don't understand that there's a difference between um, physical distance and spiritual distance. And so I still remember that conversation. It's uh, Mr. Kohama. He went to the um, Taikai with, with us in 2001. He, he was in a wheelchair. He went at age 90 something. So that's really strong heart. So um, um, I think if you know for for Uchinan too, it's um, we gotta get to the heart of the matter. Is you know um, and next Taikai, if you know if you're gonna go travel how many thousands of miles to Okinawa and Awangmuduraba, you know you don't meet the people you come back. You know if you go there and you meet the people and you you know you um, even if you don't kind of communicate in. Okinawan or Japanese or Spanish or Portuguese or English, um, there are other ways of communicating, and uh, I, I think you know if um, uh, you know it's the heart that matters more, even more than blood. So I, I think the last thing I wanted to say is, um, as we were hitting, we're the sunset, yonsei, we're gonna hit the gosei, gosei generation. Um, what is uchinatsu? You know, as as the culture becomes. Uh, less and less prevalent among us. And even in Okinawa, Okinawa is changing, where very few people speak Okinawan. Um, what is Uchinatsu? Um, you know, so I, I think we got to think Uchinatsu is a heart. And when we think about genealogy, um, you know, like my grandmother used to always say Arigatai, so she's saying Arigatai to the ancestors. Um, I think maybe um, ancestors, we, we kind of think only in terms of blood, and you know, you know, like blood related by blood. But I think maybe if we expand our notion of what genealogy is and eka, e kancha, you know, like relatives who we think are relatives. Okinawan say ichariba chode, ichariba chode. If you we meet ichariba, if we meet, we're brothers and sisters. Ichariba. So if you think about meeting, that's you know, our genealogy. You don't even have to have to share the same blood. We, we meet and we're family, um, and because when you meet, you you know you, you have this heart to heart connection. Um, so we I think maybe we can expand on our genealogy, and um, it doesn't have to be blood, especially when you know like for now you probably have um, relatives, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren who are not 100% Okinawan or not 100% Japanese, or you know. So you look at them and um, you go, are they? Are they Uchinatsu? Are they Japanese? You know, they are. <laughs> you 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 meet them all the time. You you um, um you you you're connected to them. Not only by blood, but you share the same rice pot. <laughs> uh, you, you you get sick together. You, you cry, laugh together. And that's I think we we can um, expand what our genealogy of what it means to be Japanese American, Japanese Uchinatsu, uh, or whatever, or American. Uh, it's it's all about the heart. Um, so um, I think I'll stop there. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll talk all day. All day.